Hello friends, welcome to CNW Depot Wearable. Today we are going to discuss on a very important topic which is directly related to safety that is automatic fire detection and suppression system used in LHP power cars and pantry cars. As the name indicates, it is a system which is automatically detect the fire and suppress it. This system is installed in power cars and pantry cars to address the issue of fire hazards and provide enhanced safety to passengers. This system early detects the smoke and fire and protect the entire passenger area. Not only detection, it also suppress the fire by spraying of foam type mixture. Now let us see what are the main components of the fire detection and suppression system. First, main control module which controls all kind of operation of this system. Next we have two water cylinders of 80 liter capacity. Then a nitrogen cylinder with 50 liter capacity in which nitrogen gas is stored at a pressure of 200 bar. Then we have temperature detector and smoke detector that are installed at inside roof panel of the coach which are used to detect the smoke and high temperature inside the coach. After that spray nozzles which is used to spray the foam type mixture to suppress the fire. At last but not the least LHD cable linear heat detector cable. It also detects the high temperature and gives signal to the main control module. Now let us see what inside a main control unit. Here is a panel box, a main control unit display where digital parameters are shown, a DC to DC converter which converts the 110 volt DC supply to 24 volt DC supply which is required to operate all components of the system, a 12 volt 7 AH battery unit which supply the power in case of emergency. Now let's see how a fire or smoke detection system works. When the smoke detector detects the smoke, it gives the signal to the main control module and a pre-alarm indication buzzer start with a siren sound on control unit. Similarly, if the temperature detector detects the high temperature, it transfers the signal to the main control module that then a sounder come flasher back and start indicating red light with siren sound. Here we have a suppression system activation switch on control module to start the system. Now come to the suppression system working. As we have earlier discussed that the smoke detector detects the smoke and gives the signal to the main control module which is supplied by 110 volt DC supply. Then a pre-alarm indication buzzer start with a siren sound. Here we also have the temperature detector and LHD cable to sense the high temperature of fire. These are also connected with main control module. After sensing high temperature they gives signal to the main control module and after receiving the signal main control module activate the nitrogen cylinder. Then nitrogen gas entered into the water cylinder and mix with water and form a mist. This foam type mist discharged with the help of a spray nozzle and suppress the fire. Now let us talk about the instruction that is necessary to operate the system. Whenever temperature smoke detector detects any smoke or fire inside the generator room, an audio visual alarm will start indicating red light with siren sound. Now what we have to do is to check and confirm for actual fire event. If actual fire, then stop both the generator system and cut off the fuel supply. Then operate the nitrogen cylinder. Control system will activate the system and discharge will start through nozzles and suppress the fire. After discharge, cylinder would be empty and required to be refilled with nitrogen gas and demineralized water. 
if only smoke is there and no fire then reset the system by pressing the reset button on the control unit for more than 5 seconds that's all about the system if you like this video then please like it share it and subscribe the channel and if you have any doubt then write down in comment section and thanks for watching this video